continue to track this weather that Rachel was just talking about. Just within the past hour, we learned of a tree falling on a house in Cary, causing some major damage. Let's go back out to Amy Cutler for more now. And Amy, you're right there at that scene. I'm glad to see you're not in, not getting pelted with those raindrops again right now, but it looks like quite a mess behind you. Yeah, it certainly is, Russ. In the last couple of minutes, we've had kind of a break in some of that intense rain, and we heard some really intense thunder as well. That led us to get into the weather beast. But we're outside now because we're getting a little break in the weather. Let me get out of the way so you can get a look at this home behind us. You can see a tree from the neighboring home fell right into this side of this home. It brought down the entire side of the home. We're talking insulation, siding, everything with it. You can see that mattress just hanging out the second story of that home. We're trying to get a little closer so you can get a look at that house. Now this happened around 345 according to the battalion chief with the Cary Fire Department. He tells me that surprisingly the weather was good at that point. It was not raining. There was no thunder or lightning, uh, but you can see the damage that that large tree did when it came from a neighbor's home. We're going to try to step back from the road here because there's a car getting through. Fortunately no one was inside that home at the time. There were no injuries injuries, uh, but uh, we're going to be out here and we'll have more coming up in a little bit. For now, we are live in Cary. Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News. All right. Amy, thanks for that.